y'all what's up everybody this is your girl miss p i hope that you are doing fabulous darling i am doing amazing i am here to do another review for bad girls club redemption this is episode number three please be sure to like this video subscribe if you haven't already it is free 99 and y'all know what i'm gonna say get into my favorite app which is feature point all you do is use my referral link down below you go ahead and play the games accumulate the points and then you cash them in for like paypal credit amazon gift cards starbucks gift cards and I know they are having an iPhone 6 giveaway and they have iPad minis up there. So get into it. I love it. It's amazing. I run it into the ground because I can and I love it. Anyway, so if you happen to be under a rock and you miss my episode number one of Bad Girls Club Redemption as well as episode number two, let me find something that you can click on. Um, I got a little Michael's coupon. Yeah, so click right here on the little Michaels coupon and it'll take you over there. And also, I have my weight loss journey summer wrap up. So you can click on that one too. It'll be like dun dun dun. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So last episode, we left off and I was like, did Red really spit on Natalie? I heard Natalie say, bitch, don't spit on me. But I didn't know if there was really like a spit droplet. Spitting is just gross. Red, stop, girl. Keep the spit in your mouth. Don't do that. Natalie is truly taking advantage of Judy and I just want everybody you guys know how my prayer circles go Judy really needs this because at the rate she going I don't know how long she gonna be here and I'm saying I'm not saying that as trying to be funny or anything I am serious this drinking whoa her liver honey her liver red is hilarious though just showing all of her ass I mean just showing her whole ass I was like whoa when Jada was trying to calm red down it was just so hilarious because just imagine little Jada sitting beside big balls red and she was like you know what homie you know what we get hyped though dog and we gotta calm down we gotta fall back shouting you know I'm saying Natalie Sarah and Judy you know the three amigos they're on their way to a book meeting because Natalie she does big body business you dig that she be doing book pamphlets Judy was like I'm gonna get me some business cards and also I'm gonna make sure I get my play-doh and I'm gonna be serious in my business casual attire and I'm gonna curl my hair because this is for real Natalie gonna show us how to be body Judy, you better off making you a margarita, girl. Once the three amigos leave, everybody in the house are talking about them. I'm like, can y'all do something productive? Natalie's new book is called From Bad Girl to Grown Woman. I want that. The guy was like, so what is your book about? She was like, you know what? Nothing and traveling and meeting my fans because I'm bad. I'm a I'm the baddest bitch. They come back, everybody else goes out. Julie is like drunk to the highest level of drunkness. Then took off her clothes, all her ass out, just jiggling. She crying, talking about Judy. I mean, she is in her feelings. I was like, dang, what in the world? She was giving me Miss Seely cry when Nettie left. She was like, oh. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. Red, she always comes in the best time. She was like, you know what, strays, they always find they way back home. <laughs> Sometimes I do agree with Danny. I felt just like Danny, but in like a Lisa Ray voice from the Players Club. Girl, go put your clothes on. That's how I felt with Julie. Go put some clothes on. Acting crazy. Got your ass all out. Get your life. It's the next day and Judy, as usual, after she gets drunk, she wants to start all over again with all of her friends because she want her friends back because she feel like she can change. Julie like, nah. And I'm like, hold up. So you crying over the girl. When the girl want to come back, you like, nah. I, I don't understand. And Danny, she just giving her blank stare like... Danny wants everybody to go to the animal shelter and give back. For once, the bad girls are going out doing something productive to help some people. So they get back to the house, and I knew that wasn't going to last long. Red, she is a fool acting like Natalie putting a cup on her chin. That, that was kind of funny, though. I was kind of confused when the three amigos went in the shower together. I mean, what are y'all doing? I, body painting? What's going on? While all of the chicks are out, Natalie is on the phone whispering to her mother. She was telling her mom, I'm going to have all these bitches doing what I want because I'm the puppet master. I'm like, girl, you are, you don't have to whisper, girl. Natalie is back in full effect. Praise the Lord. Camilla. She won't, I don't know why I use that Reverend Brown voice from Coming to America, the Lord. I don't know why I use that. But she is going to church. She invited everybody to go, but Red was the only one who was like, yeah, girl, I go to church with you. There's a God. 
somewhere. Oh, I am so sick of this Julie, Danny versus Judy situation. Church was good. They went after church to get them a plate from the sizzler or something. And they come back and Camilla done realized somebody done stole not one, not two, but Trace. Three of her eyelashes and it is about to go down. Somebody about to die. So the Lord revealed to Camilla in his voice. And this is how I think the Lord sounds. Camilla, Judy stole your lashes. Go get her. That's what I thought. And that's what she heard. The way Camilla confronted Judy, <laughs> and Judy was like, uh-uh, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. You could tell she's scared and she not about that life. Judy is really not about that life. She was like, no, uh-uh, no, I ain't do it. Then she get in the confessional and she was like, yes, I stole that bitch lashes. <laughs> I was like, ooh, Judy, you might die. Judy, dumb, dumb, dummy. Judy spilled the beans to everybody, telling everybody I stole her lashes. I might have took them. I put them on my eye. Rocky, she's trying to be a better person, kumbaya, and wanting everybody to get along. She was like, I am going to tell. And she told Camilla, and Camilla went off like a bomb. How ironic. Judy was doing her makeup when she was confronted a second time by Camilla. Camilla was like, why you lie to me? Why you lie to me? Judy, I could not with her. She was like, because I was scared. I was nervous. I was making some pork and beans. I sell lashes, but I wanted to try yours. That's something I didn't understand. You sell lashes, boo. This is your side hustle from the show, yet you need somebody else's lashes? Huh? Camilla was not playing over them $5 lashes. She was like, anybody got change? I need my money right now, bruh. $5 in my hand. Let's go. I was like, whoa, girls, that's it. You want everything in change? You want pennies? Natalie, being that she's the puppet master, she had to reiterate to Judy, hey, you don't do that. You don't steal. Judy was like, you know what? With these bitches and Jada, Jada been ready to pop off. She was like, you know what? My name is J-A-D-A. -A. You feel me? I ain't no bitch. I was kind of scared with all those curling irons around that somebody was going to get burnt, but nobody ever gets burned in the bad girls club. Judy, stop touching stuff. Don't touch other people's belongings. Didn't we learn that with Barney and friends back in the day? Sharon is caring. Help your fellow man. Don't steal bitches stuff. Don't do that. Sometimes Red, she just be doing the most. She didn't want Judy in the closet because she was scared she was going to steal some stuff. You can tell that Judy, again, was not about that life. Natalie can do all the probing and pushing that she wants. But uh, Judy was like, oh, I know where to fall back, boo. Uh-uh, you don't have to run in with Red. I don't want none. Hours later, I think Judy was crying because Natalie was outside. I was like, you know what, Judy? Your invisible balls, every female has a pair of invisible balls. Hers are have been revoked. I don't know where they are. I don't know if they came in through Amazon. I don't know where you got yours from. I think you have Tours R Us ones because, uh-uh. Julie is mad again. And I mean, she is at her breaking point. I am like, can we get to the root of this situation? Y'all need couples therapy. Jada comes out of nowhere, just sick of Judy and all of her shenanigans. And they have a screaming match. In between this screaming back and forth, match of course Jada knows that Judy isn't gonna do anything but Natalie is gonna be the referee and she was like girl throw the drink Judy was like you think I should throw the drink okay so she takes another gulp of the drink because Judy ain't gonna waste no drink you know what I'm saying she's just gonna give her the tail end of it Jada was a bullseye for that drink she comes a little bit closer and she was like you know what you selling lashes but you weren't using your own lashes like all up in her face oh Natalie finally does enough probing Judy got that liquid courage up in her and she threw that drink, bruh. It was like a poop. All hell breaks loose. Security! Security! All hell done broke loose. Security came out, especially the one with the braids. I caught him. And she was like, nah, 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 I got this. So she starts running. <laughs> After Judy, Judy is behind security, the one with the braids, and Red is just throwing drinks and, you know, just taunting her a little bit. And then out of nowhere, I don't know what it was. Was it luggage? I'm not sure. It just fell out the sky like a piano. I was even like, what in the world was that? The security was even like, what? And it was little Jada at the top talking about, I'm small, dog. I got a fan for my life. I got a fan for myself. I thought I was really watching lock up. Mm -hmm. Jada went loco and I would have went loco too. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I would have went a little bit to the left. Judy, she has to go stay in a hotel as she should. Jada, 
Baby girl need a little straight jacket. Red need to sit down somewhere. And Natalie at the end, she's talking about, yep, I'm making all these bitches do my dirty work. And these girls don't even see it. All in all, this episode was entertaining and very messy. Down below in the comment section, please let me know what you think about this episode. Do you think Red was in the wrong? Do you think Jada was in the wrong for getting all up in the girls' faces? What is going on with Julie and Judy's relationship? Natalie, do you think she will come out as the master puppeteer? Will these girls figure out what's going on? Let's talk about it down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless.